Okay, guys, so this is what we're making today. It's essentially um, three sheets of 12 by 12, and we put pockets in it. It's perfect and easy, easy way to make a mini album. Um, it does fit a lot of photos, and if you add extra flips, then um, you will be able to make it expanded exponentially. So this is what we have so far. It has pockets pockets and then the flip right here that i've added and then pockets and then this is could be great for like a photo some pockets for more photos or journaling and this is a tuck spot for photos or journaling and then you can just add a photo right here if you want to so there's, there's a lot of pockets and areas for putting photos and journaling on this if you wanted to so if you want to learn how to make this let's get started okay guys so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to identify which one is your cover because we're gonna need three sheets this is gonna be your cover this is a second layer and this is the inside portion i've added all this description all of this measurements in the description box for you but i do want to show you how to make it it is so, so easy, I promise you. Um, what I'm using right now is Felicity Jane. This is a beautiful like 2009 collection that I've had in my stash. And Felicity Jane has these like strips that I can use. So I'm not going to cut that off. I'm just going to hide it like this. Normally, if you have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you're going to remove that and then that's where you start. But that's okay. We can still proceed. So I am identifying that this is going to be my cover no the black and white is my cover so that the inside part is here and you can hide the strip so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my scoreboard and we're gonna get our scoreboard and scoring tool and this is the right side up you're gonna turn it just like this i'm gonna move the camera there much better so you can see like i have the strips right here so i'm just including that in the mix and Okay, I am. I'm putting it right here so it looks like an actual 12 by 12. As you can see, see right here? So I'm discarding that and I'm going to score a 4. So when I fold it, when I fold it, it's going to look like this. Isn't that so pretty? So we're going to do that. We're going to score a 4 inches and don't forget to disregard that. So you're going to put your your barcode after the cut line so we're gonna put it just like here so essentially you're ignoring you're ignoring that and it's not part of your count so you're gonna score again up four inches and when you fold it obviously if you don't have like a decorative thing right here so it's just gonna be like this but since i have it i don't want to cut it because i think it adds to the to the fabulosity and we're gonna do the same for this you're gonna ignore that and pretend that you've cut that and you're gonna score a four and it looks like this is that pretty and you're hiding your barcode so just like that so this is my inner portion this is my second layer this is my outer cover so this is first and we're gonna score a five and five eight and six and three eight so we're gonna undo this we're gonna score a five and five eight and six and three eight and you're going to fold this is the easiest project I feel like I've made a tutorial for. The easiest. It's like, it's not a one sheet wonder. It's like three sheets. But man, it looks so good. So this is your cover essentially. And it looks great just like that and has pockets. Now we're going to go to page number two. That's how fast it is. Page number two, you score one fourth and five and three quarters on both sides. So let's open it again and score at one fourth and then five and three eight on both sides. So one fourth and five and three eighths. 
and you're going to do that turn it and you're going to do the same exact thing one fourth five and three eighths no five and three quarters sorry five and three quarters and that's what i that's what i made a mistake five and three quarters it's not five and three eighths it's five and three quarters so don't make that mistake i'm wrong sorry about that and then you fold five and three fourths not five and three eight five and three fourths and five and three fourths is what i have in the measurement right there and then you're gonna close this up so this this small side right here you can either make that into a flap if you wanted to or you can make it into a reinforcement if you don't want to add any flap and you just want like a straight up pocket and photos that's cool you don't want any additional flips then you're going to glue it right here but if you do want additional flaps like i'm going to show you later then we're going to add some paper onto it so five one fourth and then five and three quarters on both sides so you're going to see we're going to we're going to put adhesive here and we're going to glue it right there simple easy Next, the last part. This is the last portion. You're going to open it up. You're going to score at three eighths of an inch. So one, two, three. And you're going to score at five and seven eight. You're going to do it again on the other side. Three eighths of an inch. One, two, three. And five and seven eighths. So this is a smaller spine. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same thing. And at this point, you're going to put this away. Look how cute that is, like the decorative strips. Isn't that awesome? And then don't forget to score and burnish. Score and burnish. So fast. This is the fastest. I feel project I've ever made ever 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 so fast so easy next this one you're going to cut here essentially making a tab you're gonna do that for the rest of the friends as well so open it up and cut it there's only two of them that needed to be cut because the first one it's not it doesn't need to be cut okay so this is your outer cage this is your second and this is your third okay so like what I'm saying like what I was saying earlier these three pages you're gonna put on top of each other by adding by connecting the spines but if you want this, you see this thing, you can create a flap to that. You can add adhesive here and add additional pages. So that's what I did with this one when I added additional pages. You can add whatever you want, whatever layers you want. It's up to you. Like this, I added this on here. I just like glued it. You see, it's up to you if you want to do that. But if you want it to be simple, like what I did here, this is a prototype. I just attached it onto itself and did not bother. So that's just reinforcement. If you feel psychologically that that change in the print is going to bother you, don't do it. Just cut it off. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. But again, I'm telling you that thus the flaps, that's also an option for you if you want to make more pages for that. Or we can do it like we can just add, we can just do it for one and then um, not do it for the, for the other ones. So let's say, let's pretend that we decided, you know what, I don't want that. I am just going to cut it off. We can cut it off on here. And we can make the flap on the other side. So I'm going to cut it right here. I don't, you don't feel like doing that on there. That's not a problem. 
and then we are going to glue this you're gonna glue this and then you're gonna put glue in the middle right here and then this one you're gonna put glue as well and you're just gonna fold simple easy done just like that so this is glued right here in the center this is glued to the side and this is glued right here and that center is also glued so when you fold it done and you've decided you know what I want to add a flap on here you can add a flap on there if you want to that's not a big deal that's not a problem so if you want to add like get a sheet of paper let me see let's say I want to add um, I want to add a sheet of paper like whatever I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a sheet of paper sorry. so I'm gonna get a yellow part okay and you just want to add a flap get your scoreboard the height is eight inches so you're gonna get an eight inch height eight inch and let's say you want to do five inches because it's five and three quarters I think so let's do just five right I'm gonna do that and then we can add a flap on that side your choice right see you just add glue right here and then you can add your your page and this is gonna be additional real estate for you if you wanted to so again it's up to you what you prefer to do what you want to do with your paper it's all on you if you just want to close it up and just put pockets and a simple simple layout that's okay too if you want to add a lot of flips you can that's not a problem so that's that so you have an additional flap right here and then pockets on here next this one we've decided you know what i don't want to do it i just want to close it up and the difference in color doesn't bother me so this one we're closing up i do like the black and white on the pink i think it's absolutely gorgeous we're doing that to the other side as well and it, let's say it doesn't bother you the changing color and you actually like that then that's great and then you're gonna i love putting reinforcements if i can instead of cutting it i would rather have it reinforced than yes and then you put glue right here you put glue right here in the middle just the spine portion and then you put glue right here as well and then you close it just like that easy fun easy I promise you you're gonna be able to make this in no time and since it's so easy you're gonna be making a boatload of them so that's that this is the, your other friend right here you see and then this last page this last page my friend um because there's no you just have to add your glue right here okay no big deal if you want to oh i forgot the glue here in the middle if you want to use um double-sided tape you can of course feel free to do that if that's easier for you next next you're gonna glue this so you're gonna add glue right here again if you want double-sided you can if you want to use your glue gun whatever you like and then i am just flattening it so it's easy for me to maneuver and see if it's symmetrical and then you just do that so now you have your middle page your second page this is your third page remember so you're putting the glue on the spine and then i am just folding it i'm not really folding but just like flattening it a little so it's easy for me to navigate how to put it in the center so just put it centered like this there's a lot of black and white and i love that 
right there and now it's glued so now this is your inner page you added a flap so that's great you have your pockets right here you have your pockets again pockets pockets and page and page for photos and another pocket that was so easy you are done my friend and then if you want to you can decorate it with you know like your die cuts your ephemera whatever you have added there um what else do i have in here maybe i have some embellishments let me see what we have for embellishments this is the original 2019 so if you wanted to you could you can add it here um right there some flowers up to you whatever you prefer and then or you can you can add like a sentiment on here it says relax or hello sunshine it's up to you but that's essentially it and then what i did with my prototype is i decorated them with some odds and ends from doodlebug like i decorated it with images odds and ends and then more like this one so i can just I can just like this is a tuck spot this is also a tuck spot for photos so you can be as creative as you want like it's up to you what you how you want to decorate them but I'm just giving you like the basic the basic on how I did mine like you can add tuck spots you can add shakers you can do whatever you want but that's the super basic part of it super easy super fun and it doesn't even take that long i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah let me know in the comments what collection you're going to be using to play with it i'll show you um once i've decorated the entire thing thanks guys